Do you hate when crappy players ruin the lobby? Well, DICE might have solved that problem. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. I pretty much just want to start talking about battle points and how they can help. Pretty much all you do is you play the game and as you're playing you will receive points and they'll just add up and then you can spend them on, for, for example, um, chicken walkers and just and hero pickups. And instead of just getting hero pickups all scattered around, you can actually get rewarded for playing and for doing well. So if you spawn early, it's going to make a difference in the match. And I think that's really important. Also, the class system is going to be really important. And how you're able to customize the classes is really going to depend on if I think one of them turns out way more OP than the other. Because... I'm not sure if you can really put jump pack on on the individual classes or do you have to earn battle points and get a, get a jump trooper, which is one of the things that you have to um, earn while you play the game. So are you just going to be able to have a jump pack or do you have to earn the jump pack and become the uh, special trooper? That would be really interesting to see if one turns out more OP than all of the others. Also we have the campaign. We know that they just released the, the trailer pretty much, and it didn't reveal too much, but it revealed some new shots, and the game really looks fun. But all the maps that got released for the original Star Wars Battlefront game looked really fun. I remember I bought the game after the release of Outer Rim, but I remember watching Star Wars HQ. That was the main one I was watching before Star Wars Battlefront updates. And I was watching their live stream of Bespin, and I remember how amazing it looked, and it still does. So I know any new release to map is pretty much going to look amazing. So the new shots that we got of like Biden's dad and whatnot, they're really interesting, but it will see. My most interesting thing with the, with the campaign is will it be simu similar with everyone's gameplay, or will it be different? depending on the storyline or will the story just take you one direction and that's just how it goes i want to see if there's multiple storylines that will be altered as you play that's the main thing i want to see with the campaign and the final thing that i want to discuss are the released heroes most of the heroes that were in the original battlefront are already going to be confirmed in into the new battlefront but of course we just learned that Finn and Phasma from The Force Awakens are going to be in the new Battlefront 2 game. But I'm most excited to play as Grievous and to see if they give him four lightsabers. And I'm really excited to see the first shot or even concept art that they just release from EA or DICE. And that's what I'm really most excited to see. Um, leave a comment on the most excited hero that you guys um the one that you guys are most excited to see and those were just my brief thoughts on star wars battlefront 2 as i guess a battlefront youtuber i wanted to just give some brief thoughts i didn't want to make a whole dedicated video because i know you guys know most of the information so i just wanted to give my thoughts go ahead and subscribe like comment and share and check out all the videos and may pancake face be with you So free, one more time, you discovered.